In today's video, I'm going to share with you my top five tips to become a better passer in Madden NFL 20. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is centered around helping you take your game to the next level, helping you become a better player in Madden 20 and ultimately in Madden 21. If today's video helps you, what I want to encourage you to do is to go ahead and hit the subscribe button, but also to check us out on Discord, because Discord is where we're going to be releasing um, our newest and latest greatest things. It's also going to be, once we get 100 people there, I'm going to release a free ebook for you on that discord server but top five tips let's jump into it tip number five for how to become a better passer in Madden NFL 20 and that is to step up in the pocket as soon as you're running from shotgun one of the things is pocket presence and the best way to, to to talk about pocket presence is to basically use some of the different pressures here so you're going to see i'm going to run through a sequence of different pressures but what i do is as soon as i catch the ball i'm stepping up into the pocket and then i manage it and then i make a read what most people do, and let me just show you what they're going to do. What most people do is they do this. They're going to run the run play, and they're going to back up, 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 and then they're going to take a sack for like a thousand yards. I'm guilty of it. We're all guilty of it. It's just kind of the, what you do. You don't think about it. You're looking downfield, and you're not thinking about the fact that you're looking downfield, but you're going all the way back and you see there how easy it is for those defensive ends to animate against you. So what I encourage you to do is as soon as you catch the ball at the snap, there's no way to get that pressures. So simply step up. Step up, step up, step up, step up, step up. And then if you're in a situation where maybe you want to roll out, what you can do is once you step up in the pocket, and we've talked about this idea of the mic feature, once you step up, now you can roll out and throw the ball. The second thing that I want to encourage you to do in order to become a better passer in Madden NFL 20 and ultimately in Madden 21 is to ask yourself pre-snap who is open now. For example, he's showing me a cover two defense. He's showing me that more than likely what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get somebody in the deep post or wherever that may be. So at the snap of the ball, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring Tyreek Hill in motion all the way across the formation. And I know that at the snap of the ball, I'm looking to see who's open now. And you see here, Tyreek Hill delivers a nice route over the middle of the field because his defense changes a little bit. But when you come to the line of scrimmage, ask yourself, what can they do to me now? Where are they coming from? What is likely going to happen? If the safeties come down, that means they're probably blitzing. Um, the cornerbacks on the backside out. If the cornerbacks are backed off like that, you can throw out routes very, very effectively, uh, as you can see right there. The number three step that I have for you to become a better passer in Madden 20 and ultimately a better passer in Madden 21 is to do is to do what the Air Raid talks about as reading grass. And what I mean by that is you simply want to read kind of sequences of the field. So I'm going to look left, right at the instance of the snap, and then that's going to give me a lot of information. Your post-snap read is going to help you because most of the time my issues and your issues in passing the ball have absolutely nothing to do with the actual routes that we're calling. It has everything to do with whether or not we can actually make a read. It has everything to do with whether or not we can actually make a read. So at the snap of the ball, I'm going to look right, left, and middle. I'm going to try to identify where's his user. And then after I've calculated all that information, then I'm going to look at my reads. Again, think about it as your eyes, your mind has to catch up to your eyes. So you just want to look. And then your mind will catch up and then you want to deliver the ball. Okay, you want to look left, look right, your mind will make the mind up for you, or your mind will then, it will then collect the data. Look right, look left, and most people don't do this. Most people don't practice this. Most people don't practice their post-snap reads, and that's why most people aren't that good at passers, because they never practice the things that actually make you a better passer, which to me, the number one, like it's, it's such a no-brainer. Do your reads one thousand two one thousand have an internal clock clock that's going to be the next tip for you have an internal clock in your head the reality is we actually have more time to throw the ball in madden than they have in the nfl that should that should really raise some red flags because most of us are used to even the best blitzers in the world can't get to us faster than they are being they are getting to the quarterbacks in the nfl so if the quarterbacks in the nfl could read the defense faster than us there will be an issue. And so one of the things that we need to do as the offense is we need to take that back. 
and we need to basically look at our system, look at the plays that we're calling, and we need to have an internal clock. What I like to do is I like to I like to time my internal clock with my quarterback. So I'm going to step up one, two, three, and then I'm going to look to scramble. It's 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and then look to scramble. Because if nothing's open within three seconds, if nothing's open within three seconds, that's an issue. And that means you need to look somewhere else. Boom, boom. Okay, nothing's open. Now I need to get out of the pocket and buy some time. Those timing, that, that internal clock is going to help you. Because the reality is most of you, if you're playing, if you played Madden for any significant time, most of the pressure is going to come off the edge. Most of the pressure is going to be designed to keep you in the pocket. So if you step up, step up, step up, nothing's open, and then you can scramble out. The last tip that I have for you to become a better passer in Madden 20 is to understand and have routes that fit well together. Most of us have really, really good routes. They just don't fit very well together. Does that make sense? Most of us have really good routes, but they just don't fit that well together. What I mean by that is we'll run something like, let me give you an example. We'll, we'll run something like this play right here, PA read. But what we'll do is we'll slant Travis Kelsey and we'll put Robinson on a deep end and we'll put this. This is what we would do to something like this. The problem is they're going to run into each other. And they take so long to develop. Like, it's very difficult for that to be successful. That's not to say you can never run a crossing route in a post route. That's not to say you can never run a slant route in a crossing route. That's simply to say... Make sure that they work well together, that the routes are going to work off of one another. That's the key. So in this scenario, I'm going to put this left side guy on an out route because the cornerback is backed off for the play fade stops. Now I can choose to send Robinson deep, but sending Robinson deep isn't really going to get me anywhere. So what I'd rather do is put him on a comeback because I've got these two routes, Hill and Kelsey. They're going to do really good against zone, and then that comeback is going to do really good against man. So if I'm stepping up, my snap read is the out route. Can I throw that out route? If I can, I'm going to fit it in every single time. If I can't throw the out route, then I'm going to work back to the middle of the field. So again, it's very simple. Looking out, okay, I can't throw it. Now I'm looking this way. Can I throw it? And again, I can't see it because of the. I can't see because of the because I'm using two controllers on defense. Um, but you'll see right here. So again, I'm I'm looking right, and I'm just gonna look. Oh, nothing there. Okay, I'm stepping up. Okay, nothing there. Nothing there. Okay, check it down. And again, it should be even a little bit faster than that. Okay, uh, let me let me actually just run that against random plays. But do you see what I'm saying? Do you see how you can become a better passer in Madden NFL 20? It has very little to do with the actual scheme that you're running. And I'm gonna give you schemes that you can run. Right? I'm never going to leave you hanging on that one. We're going to constantly be giving you things that you can do and route combinations that will work. The key is not every route combination deserves to be in every play. Not every route combination deserves to be in every play. There are specific routes for specific coverages. That's the bottom line. And so what I want to encourage you to do is to figure out what are those? What are the specific routes for the specific coverages that you could use? What are the options, right? And then, how do you put them together? How do you put everything together? How do you make a scheme? How do you make a system? And that is the that is kind of the way that you're going to become a better passer in this game. You're going to do it by practicing, obviously. But you're also going to be doing it by learning the mental side of passing. Most people talk a lot about the route combinations and the play setups. But most people don't talk about the thing that I believe actually really makes people better passers. And that's literally doing it, reflecting on it, and learning the progressions. If you don't do that, I was a terrible passer until I forced myself to pass every single play in one Madden. And when I did that, and when I learned, and when I practiced, my, my gameplay this year, some people have watched my games, some people have seen what I've been doing, and some people would say, why would you pass the ball in Madden NFL 20? Are you stubborn? No. In Madden 21, guess what? It's going to be a passer and friendly game, and I'm going to be able to dot because I took my lumps Everybody has to take their lumps. You do, I do. And to become a better passer, you're going to have to take your lumps. You're going to have to take your sacks. But most of the time, most of the time, again, not all the time, most of the time, your route combinations are actually open. You just haven't been able to hit them. Or you haven't been able to, to click on and make user catches or whatever it may be. So what I want to encourage you to do is take your lumps, 
practice these five things over and over again and learn your progressions. Everything comes down to execution, right? Everything comes down to execution, as I throw a pick. Um, everything, everything comes down to execution in Madden. Every single thing that we do. Can we execute? Can we execute? Can I execute whatever it is, right? As a quarterback, can I execute the quick pass? And it's all about reading the defenses. Your job, when the ball is snapped, is to read the defense. You can't block the defense. You can't block the defense once the ball is snapped. You can simply react to what's happening. And the best quarterbacks have the best reaction time and focus on what they can control. Thanks for watching this video.